kiss for you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Welcome to my another video on Android app development and so guys this will be the part 2 of my video series on sound recorder pro app using Android studio alright guys so without wasting any time let's get started so first of all let's try to change the colors so here we will use the primary color that will be green so we can say 008577 alright and the color primary dark that color will be double zero five seven four B alright so let's get started so first of all let's try to change this constant layout to relative layout and let's change i mean remove this text view so first of all we will uh, we will change the style of our uh, activity so we need to change from dark action bar to no action bar because we need to use our own uh, toolbar so here we can have our own toolbar so where what we can do we can set the width to match parent and wrap content to the height then we can set the elevation to 4 dp and then we can set the id as toolbar and we can set the background to color primary and we can what we can do is okay so i think that is enough but we need to change the our color primary color so what we can do let me change it let's have some other color so let's say we have this pink color and let's also say this color all right so yes now after this toolbar we need to have the pages sliding tab strip so for that we can say pages sliding tab strip then we can set the the width to match parent and we can set the height to attribute action bar size then we can set the background to color primary and also we can say text color color will be white then we can say elevation and it will also be 4 dp then we can say psts indicator color that will be color slash tab strip then we can say psts indicator height and it will be 5 dp and finally we can say should expand and it make it true then we can create our uh, tab strip color inside our colors.xml and what will be the this color so it will be sorry guys hash b alright so now we have this uh, tab strip here 
then we now need to have a view pager that will be with the fragment layout so here we can say view pager and it will be match parent and the height will be 0 pixel and then we can set the weight ok so I think we need to uh, make it to linear layout then we can say weight it will be 1 and then we can set the background to white and finally we can set the id as pager alright so after this pager we will have the frame layout and it will be match parent and match parent and let's set the id to container all right so i think th uh, that is enough for this video as we have done the main activity here so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye